Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Jean d'Arc. Now, today is going to be strictly a story episode, because this next area, Keenon, there is no battle to fight. However, there is like 15 minutes worth of story, so yeah, let's just get it, get it out of the way. But it'll be well worth it. Hey, it's Gillis. I don't... I actually don't think it's pronounced Gillis because I took a look at this cutscene or whatever um, that's going to come up and uh, like they actually say his name I think <laughs> um, but I guess we'll find out. I'm still going to call him Gillis though because how else is it pronounced? Like really? Like half of this game you could pronounce all of the names in more than one way more than likely. Um, besides Jean and Leanne, you know, maybe Bertrand, you know, maybe it's like Bertrand or something, something really over the top, kind of like that, a, that Framley plan commercial where it's like, it's pronounced Gordon, Ugh. okay then. So, he was saying something about royal blood, which it must be purple or something, clearly. Because, I mean, isn't all blood the same color like Leanne said? I think it should be. Why do they pan up to the castle here? I don't really understand it. That sky is just kind of... Sean, <laughs> 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 look, that man in red. Remember what Gilles said? The color of royal blood. Blood is red. He has to be the Dauphin. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Huh? Then who is? <laughs> Gentle Dauphin, my name is Jeanne, La Pousselle. <sighs> A miracle. Did they say the guy's name? I don't know, but I'm still gonna pronounce it Gillis. I don't really care. Is that Dauphin? Like, how is it? I don't know. I took Spanish. Granted, I'm still kind of taking it, I guess. Because, uh, this upcoming school year, my senior year of high school, I am, uh, I'm taking Spanish 3 for college credit. Woo. Even though that has nothing to do with the game. Whatever. Uh, that's not exactly what I said. Georgie, calm down. Calm down. Oh boy. I mean, it went straight to his head. Oh, one of these scrubs has to announce everything. Right. This might end up a bit shorter than 15 minutes, which is nice. You know, a short episode every now and again doesn't hurt. But, uh, again, no battle today. The slow clap, invented by Gillis, the nobleman. Yeah! Um, Charles? <sighs> Whatever. He's not gonna listen. He doesn't really care. 
He's heard all he needs to hear, and he's assumed all he needs to assume. Oh, what's going on? Roger. What happened to his eyes? Georgie! What happened? Where are his pupils? Are they like... Does he just lose his pupils when he's angry? He's like, Ugh, I'm pupilless. was that another nightmare it looked like the same one just with added effects that's the first time I've seen Jan smile in a while ever since Dom Remy I think it's hard to it's hard to say yeah that took some talent I'm going to admit, the first time I saw that cutscene, today, I mean, I thought the guy in red was the dolphin, but, or dauphin, what? I don't care. If I pronounce things wrong, it's whatever. Um. Yeah, I, I thought the first guy was, uh, the, the dolphin just like Leanne did, but, um, it wasn't, but... Once I saw that other guy, I kind of knew. Oh, it was your dad's armlet. That that probably explains why there was a dude that looked like Gillis in the opening cutscene. Um, when uh, Bedford was uh, like telling the kid the story. I think his name was Prince Henry. At least, that's what he was. I don't know what that demon thing was doing, but I guess we'll find out. Eventually. Don't be jealous, Roger. He's just a badass. So Gillis is now with us. Alright, Chapter 2. Savior. And chapter two is started off with Gillis. That's great. You know, he's a pretty good character considering he has the spear as well as um, an armlet. So, you know, he can transform as well. For the most part, these two, uh, Jeanne and Gillis, are my main party for right now, but that might actually change um, because. I found recently, actually, that Kolei can be really good. I honestly thought he was a character you could just push aside and not even deal with. But he's pretty decent. Yeah, nah, you just gotta believe. Orleans can't be that bad. Now, I assume it's pronounced Orleans just because of New Orleans, but the thing is, it has an accent mark. So, how would that work? I, I don't really care, to be quite honest. It's just, I know there's going to be somebody that's like, Oh my god, it's pronounced this way and not the way you're saying it. You're wrong. Dislike. Gillis, well, why aren't you saying nothing? You're still here, Gene? What the heck? Eh, I mean, it's kind of a good thing that Gene's still here. Jean, don't take Gene for granted. Gene is a good character. He doesn't really have that much story involving him, to be quite honest. Um... 
It's more centered around Jean, Roger, Leanne, and Gillis. Uh, in fact, Marcel and Colet really don't have that much story time um, throughout the game. So, you know, that's a thing. Alright. Well, I guess... I guess we gotta head to Orleans, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I want to head to the shop first. The reason why is because there's a couple new things here, not too much. Um, for one, I need to buy an Iron Lance for Gillis. Um, as for leather clothing, we all have that. Uh, I want to save my money a little bit before I buy another buckler. And see, we have solar, lunar, and astral files. I mean, I'm sure I'll find some eventually. And... We also have Thunderbolt, which is the Stella offensive spell. I'm not going to use it quite yet, just because I know I'll get some. And we have HP plus 20 and MP plus 20, which is pretty pretty I mean it's MP plus 10 it's pretty decent um, if anything I would give I'm gonna give an MP 10 to Leanne actually uh, the reason why is because it'll make things a bit easier when it comes to um, MP charging because again it's 25% of your max MP is restored each turn so let's see that'd be about oh like 23 maybe um, as for Jen uh, I do want to give her at least one offensive spell. Uh, ooh, I can give somebody lower force as well. Um, it would have to be Jan. So, uh, the thing is though, Jan will be doing a lot of attacking. If anything, I would like to give it to say Cole, but I can't. You have to be level 13 to equip it. Oh well, that's not a big deal. So, that's going to do it for today's episode of Let's Play Jeanne d'Arc. Next time, we'll be heading to Orleans. So thank you guys for watching, and later days.